hello everyone welcome okay this will be a message for you thank you for joining me below in the description box you'll find my email if you are interested in booking me for a greeting i offer all and any types including one-on-one -on -one sessions with me via facetime and video call okay let's begin let's find out what spirit wants you to know spirit what does spirit want you to know beloved So, um, King of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, okay? King of Pentacles here, and then we have the Nine of Wands. So, I'm seeing here that, you know, there were people in your life um, who have tried to kind of sabotage your growth, okay? It's like they wanted you to remain stagnant, they wanted you to remain in the same place, in the same position, like they did not want you to progress. And I feel like one way in which they they wanted to keep you trapped was, you know, mentally. Like they wanted you to not believe, not have hope, not have dreams and aspirations. So, you know, these people could, could have oftentimes, you know, like spoken fear on your plans, on your goals on your future, your future ventures and projects, stuff of that sort, okay? Um, I feel like your growth as a person has, it's like, it's intimidating, you know, these people. It's like they don't know how to approach you now. They, they It's like, I feel like there are people that are trying to figure out, like, these people are trying to figure out different ways, like how, how to approach you now. Because I feel like, who they thought you were is nothing like who you are. I feel like there are people; these people also underestimated your connection to the divine. They underestimated how connected you were really to source. I feel like your journey was purposely not meant to be easy, okay? Okay, six of swords. We have the Ten of Swords, and we have the King of Cups, okay? So we'll begin with the Six of Swords here. I feel like, you know, these are people that are very self-entitled. Like, they feel like, it's like these are people that have never worked a day in their life, but they feel entitled to your success. It's like they want what you have. They want your achievements. They want you to cater to them, okay? So energetic vampire energy going on here. I feel like these people, it's like they never wanted you to find your own voice, okay? Like this bird is, is trying to um, land on one of these swords, but it can't because I'm getting like there's aggression towards it, okay? I don't know if you can see, guys. But there's a, a bird trying to land on a sword um, here, okay? But I feel like the person behind the sword is ready to, you know, kind of like slice the bird rather than cater to it and allow it to land. Okay, this being these people, they never wanted you to find your own voice. They never wanted you to dis discover who you really were. And I'm getting, they've always seen it in you. They always see it's like these people always saw how you were able to do things that they couldn't do like they couldn't with this ten of swords here it's like they couldn't handle certain situations okay that you handled perfectly or with your with like grace okay i feel like these people they envy your emotional intelligence they envy how strategic you are. They envy your discipline. They envy your mind, okay? They, it's like they, they acknowledge how easy it is or how you know, easily certain things come to you. But to, for them 
or to them it's very difficult like they cannot achieve it in the same manner as you i feel like as much as these people have tried to mislead you or oftentimes wanted you to never figure out your destiny you were always chosen okay and even when they were doing things towards you that were meant to destroy you the divine orchestrated those things to work out in your favor so you know what they tried to do backfired it's like the sword that they were trying to kill you with or you know stab you with is now it's like it's faced towards them and they see and i'm seeing someone that sees it's like you imagine seeing a sword coming towards you with full force like it's coming with a strict momentum towards you a whole sword you know and it's like you in that moment are unable to move there is no possible way that you can dodge it it can't miss you and you see and it coming and what thoughts are crossing your mind like wow okay this is it this is the end this okay i'm done i feel like these people all that they've tried to do to you is backfiring and they're realizing it's like they are being karmically taught that they it's like i feel like your ancestors have been um traveling in the dream states to other people's dream states and warning them giving them messages you know uh sending warnings and you know kind of putting people in a place and i feel like this is for even people that you don't even think have it out for you you know what i mean you'd be surprised what thoughts go through those people's minds and your ancestors know that your spirit guides are well aware hence they're disciplining these people and putting them in line okay and this is happening in the dream state and i feel like you know this ha has happened to a few people okay um and i feel like you know you have a lot of people that are confused here it's like when they experience these dreams y'all they were so um shook okay i'm getting a level of shock a level of like um like what is really happening i feel like as soon as they experience these dreams they wake up feeling sweaty okay like their bed sheets might be real wet or damp um and the sweat is coming from fear okay the fear that they have in their hearts because they know that those they have they know the type of person they are and they know what they've done okay this is all towards you and your spirit guides are setting them in line and letting know letting them know what's up. Certain people are going through judgment right now in your life. It's payday. You are paying for what you've done. And this is what these people are going through. And I feel like this is a very deep period in their lives because it's leading them straight into self-introspection straight into self-evaluation and they're now seeing themselves for who they really are they can't run away from the truth anymore because it's staring them right in the face it's them oftentimes people always want to blame you it's so much easier to do so right it's so much easier to take you for granted it's so much easier to look down upon you right okay okay but God was watching. The divine always had your back. And your ancestors made sure that nothing and no one and no weapon ever fought shall prosper. Whether anyone likes it or not. Whether they approve of it or not. Whether they think they can do anything about it or not. Because beloved, what I'm seeing here, I feel like you have that kind of protection that even in the midst of a war. And you walk into, I'm seeing like someone walk into a war zone and get missed by all the bullets and, and shots that are fired like you are in the war zone you are in the firing line but you are being missed by bullets and the shots like they missed they missed they really thought they could do it they really thought they could they really thought they could do it beloved but they failed it's over it's judgment time I feel like your ancestors have been quiet they've been trying to 
It's like I feel like you your ancestors are very subtle people, okay? They don't they deep thinkers, okay? They don't do the superficial things. They won't they won't do something as superficial as do magic on you, okay? Spell work and things of that sort. No. It's psychological with your ancestors. They're gonna teach them a lesson. They're gonna teach all these people a lesson that cross you. Because I'm really getting some things that happen in your life, beloved. Some things that happen to you, you didn't deserve that. You did not. And people are going to pay. Okay? Let's see what else. Okay. Let's see what else. Yes, you don't know. Okay, Ace of Swords, beloved, okay? I feel like the truth, yeah. I feel like the truth is being revealed to everybody. Like, everybody around you is having revelations. Everybody around you is having awakenings. It's like everybody is getting a fair share of karma, okay? Distributed with love by your ancestors, okay, your spirit guides, and everybody is getting what they deserve, okay, those who were pretending, okay, pretending to have love for you, pretending to care for you, pretending to give you good advice, but in their hearts, it was just cold, and you didn't know, you didn't know, beloved, but you've always been protected from that, and they're not facing judgment for it, like, because, you know, it's time. They're going to pay. It's like people are facing themselves. And it's because of their actions towards you. And I'm getting beloved. You shouldn't fear your own capabilities. It's like. I'm getting maybe you could be a little bit like. In your head about like. Your impact. Your influence on certain people. In certain situations. Or like you know. What you bring to the table. How you contribute to certain things. There might be a little bit of like anxiety or anxiousness attached to that I feel like you're nervous or something okay but i feel like you know i'm being called to tell you there's nothing to be nervous about everything is going as it should let that be reassurance so that contentment within you is maintained okay every meaning everything is going to be okay okay simply put everything is going to be fine okay beloved okay everybody's seeing the truth now they see, they see, I feel like these dreams and revelations that people are having about you, like they, they shocking them. Yeah, we have the tower, we have the tower, y'all. Scorpio energy. It's very powerful time right now. It's a very powerful time right now. Okay. It's a, there's a very powerful energy that is, is, is surrounding you right now. So, okay. If you're feeling called to like not go to certain places or not even go out for the day or not like if you feel cold to do something and you don't know why you feel like okay now maybe you you were planning on going out and then your mood switches up and now you don't want to go out anymore trust that okay trust that shift i feel like you're gonna you're gonna experience a lot of that okay in the next coming two to four weeks like a lot of minor little shifts but they have a bigger purpose. They're serving a bigger purpose that you don't know about because it's happening in the spiritual realm, okay? So you need to be aware of those little things and trust that when they happen, it's just the flow. Just flow with the flow and allow it to be what it is, okay? You said you want to do this, now all of a sudden the plan switches up, you're not doing it and you're doing this. You know, it's like, it's the flow, okay? So yeah, with the towel, y'all, I feel like your 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 ancestors, okay, your spirit guides are teaching people a lesson. They're teaching people a lesson about you and who you are and what you here for and your connection to the divine beloved is the reason of all of this. The divine is in love with you. You're very special to the divine. I feel like there's something about you that links you so close to God and you, only you know that, 
or know what it is, okay? I feel like you have people shook, wondering. It's like you have people regretting the decisions they made towards you, like, you know, lying about you um, or, you know, having a negative approach towards you, having ever done a bad deed towards you. Now they regretting that. Like, this is crazy. And I feel like these are people whom you never thought would be in those positions. Like, it's like some of you could have been, you know, in the know of it. Like, you knew what was coming for these people and you just let it be. And some of you didn't really know what was going to happen. But regardless, what is happening is they paying for it and it's happening in, in, in many ways. Some of these people are, are struggling to sleep because each time they do, they dream of you and then they have to face themselves and what they've done. And who they've done it to. I'm being called to emphasize that. Because it's you, beloved. Like, you're not just anybody. And look at how... I don't know if y'all can be able to see this, okay? But there's like a light in the sky here. And it's, it's like, it's the reason, it's shining into this tower, but it, it created like a, it's like it broke the tower, okay? The light from the sky, from the universe, the divine, it broke the tower, it created the tower, okay? It's the reason the tower is, is occurring. It's the reason these, fall, these people are, are falling out of the tower. So, which, is, which tells me that you don't fight your own battles. Your battles are fought for you by the divine. Everything is divinely orchestrated in your life, beloved. And people have yet to figure that out. That's why these awakenings are happening. That's why these rude awakenings are happening. Because there are people that need to be taught a lesson. You don't ever mess with a chosen one. You get it? Yeah. And I feel like this is going to be happening for a long time for these people to hang mad. Three to four years for some of these people. They're going to walk the, 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 the path of judgment. Judgment is not a thing. Judgment is not a, a, an event. A certain Judgment is here. Every day of your life, you face it. And I feel like these people are going to face it on another scale. Every day for the next three to four years, people are going to be facing judgment. And they're going to walk the path of judgment for not only what they, the bad deeds they've done to you, but to others too. Because certain people that have really, really got it wrong, man. Okay? Let's move on. Let's see what else. Okay? So, I'm being shown... I mean, I mean, uh, I'm shown something, right? And I'm getting a prophetic uh, vision of me in the kitchen, okay? Uh, just before I started this reading, I went into the kitchen uh, and I was planning to make myself a cup of tea. But prior to that, I had washed the dishes and I didn't put them away, like where they belong. I left them by the sink, um, okay? Probably because I had something to do, right? So... As I went into the kitchen to make, you know, the, the tea that I was planning on making, the dishes were still there because I still hadn't packed them away. Um, so I realized that I saw a glass, right? And the glass had broke. And it's the second one today. In the morning, I saw it. I didn't really take a good look at it. I just, you know, think I just put it away. I threw it away. And then I saw this one again. I'm like, okay, what is this now? So I look at it. I said, is this, a, I asked, you know, I asked God, is this an omen? He said, you know, look at it properly. And I saw that it broke and formed an arrow, an arrow that is pointed upward. So it was like, you know, on the glass. And I was like, okay. And now this tower is broken. Okay. So I feel like whatever people had tried to place on you and cuss on your name, is broken it has been broken yeah with this ace of swords whatever people have tried to bind you with or link you to or do to you spiritually okay spiritual work okay they try to place on you and do to you it's like it's it's backfired badly beloved i feel sorry for these people because solely the divine is solely orchestrating lessons for them like meaning that this is going to be a hard time for them and some of you might find out in a way of you being told or you might hear it 
okay? And some of you might witness it. It just depends on what you were destined for. Like some of you were destined to see it happen, and see people um, get their karma. And some of you were meant to just, you know, hear about it from a distance, okay? Ten of Wands, okay? Yo, these people are struggling here. I'm getting these people are struggling, beloved. And the struggle is about to continue. I'm getting it's just the beginning. So I feel like the, the divine has been distributing coming lessons, okay? Through the power of your ancestors. Thank God, okay? Distributing lessons to, to people. Every, like, every day, there's someone that faces judgment, okay? And this is linked to your whole life. So whoever has crossed your path and did you wrong, okay? They all individually pay okay and your ancestors this is a word for your ancestors and it's granted by the universe okay by the divine by god okay and i feel like these people are going to begin to struggle like that's the first thing you're going to notice they're going to begin to struggle there's going to be it's going to be very clear to you you know that these people are struggling and if they already were it's going to progress even further like it's going to be to the point of them like some some of these people really are not going to have much. They're going to have little to none, okay? And the other thing is, they're being taught, this is for them. This is for them. This is a lesson to them. They're going through these struggles. It's a lesson to them by the divine, okay? And it's showing them things about themselves and humbling them. Because I'm getting, these people had a lot to say. These people thought they could play God. And take the matter into their own hands and do this and do that towards you. And for some of you, in some in, in some instances, it's like these people were doing it out of spite, not because you did anything to them. So they're gonna be struggling. That's one thing you should know. A lot of struggling. Like and a, a lot of you know major obstacles like cars breaking down um taps in the house being broken and or leaking or like a tv stops working um it's like more sicknesses you know going around it, so this is what's going to be occurring in, in these people's lives this is a karma okay they facing judgment this is you know Some of you may, I'm, I'm getting like, I'm seeing you go through your phone, okay? If you receive an unfamiliar number, a call, you know, from an unfamiliar number, or like don't open it, don't, don't even bother yourself, okay? Because there might be people that are trying to hold you back by contacting you to manipulate you emotionally so that you stay stagnant or you put them back into your life or, you know, they're just going to try and manipulate you or manipulate the situation, so you're being called to be aware of that. Okay. So we have the <laughs> y'all more struggling. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Six of Pentacles. So, firstly, um, I just heard, don't ever bite or take advantage of the hand that feeds you. So, these people could have really, you know. So, with the Five of Pentacles, y'all, <laughs> what I'm getting is, there are people who were well aware that you needed help. Okay, this is in the past, this is, you know, what has happened has happened in your life. These people were well aware you, you might have needed help, you needed a hand, and they were aware and chose not to, okay, not to not to help you. Those two are gonna face judgment. So the alliances, okay, the allegiances. So if it's like the enemy, the friend of my enemy, the enemy of my friend is my, oh, y'all, come on. It's like, a, give me a moment. Let me gather this narrative. I'm sorry, guys. It's 
It's like imagine a group of people that are only friends because they don't like somebody. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm getting that narrative, okay? So I'm getting the very same people that knew you needed help but didn't offer it and they were in the position to help you and could have made a difference in your life and could have really helped get you out of a situation or could have made things better for you and they chose not to, right? The choices that they've made, they're going to pay for that, okay? Because I feel like there is something that people try to keep from you, these people have tried to keep this from you so that you never find out about it and they only wanted you to, it's like they only wanted you to remain, it's like these people never wanted you to see how big you are, okay? They never wanted you to see yourself for who you are. They always wanted to minimize your perception and make you always look at yourself through a smaller lens. Like, you know, like you're not destined for more. Or you're not destined for greatness. So you're not worthy of this and that. You know, that's why they always wanted to speak fear onto your plans and your goals and your ambitions, okay? Because they were so envious of your devotion to things. They were so envious of your courage, your strength, your braveness, because they had none of that, okay? And this envy, it manifested itself in straight bitterness. So these little things of them having the, being in a position to help you and not willing to do so, okay? That's bitterness. And I feel like they're gonna pay for that. Cause these people are straight spiteful. I'm getting, there's no reason for them to treat you like this. Or there was no reason for them to treat you the way they did. I just feel like it's people who had failed to take accountability of themselves and who they really are. Because I'm getting beloved. There are people who are close to you. You might have lived with them. You might have just been close to them. Okay. Meaning you saw them on a daily basis and whatnot. And you experienced each other a lot. And you know, th those people, okay. There was one specific person you experienced in your life is what I'm getting. That, And that one person had... A very close relationship to you and this is telling me that it's linked with blood which is family okay and I feel like that person um, carried a lot of disgusting thoughts okay that they kept to themselves things that they wanted to do to you or things that they wanted you know y'all ill and I feel like What you were obviously heavily protected, and some of you it could have happened. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I guess it was just a part of your destiny or like your path, you know. But I'm being called to tell you that whatever was done shall be paid for. Like, I feel like the divine is gonna strictly orchestrate something for this person that did this to you. Or thought of doing this to you right For some of you this is it so this person could have done it to you or this person could have thought of doing it to you okay those are the two narratives so take it where it resonates but whatever wherever you are it's still the fact still remains that they're gonna pay okay even if they didn't do it they're gonna pay for thinking about it <clears throat> okay and I feel like this person they've done a lot of bad things in their lives to other people okay and I feel like the divine is strictly orchestrating something in this person's life to really teach them a lesson and I feel like this is something that you are going to see or oh, you are going to be very much aware of it somehow Okay, that is all I'm getting, okay, for you. If you're interested in booking me for a reading, please, you'll find my email in the description box below. You can contact me to book your reading, okay. Um, I offer any and all types of readings, including one-on-one -on -one sessions with me via FaceTime and video call, okay. I hope this helped you and that this was of significance to your life, beloved, and I'm sending you nothing but love, okay. Bye.